Lately, there have been a lot of buzz on my channel about anamorphic lenses, and the question that I get so often in the comment section is how to de-squeeze the anamorphic footage that you shot with your anamorphic lens in the editing program and post-production. If you have a camera capable of de-squeezing your footage internally, just like the GH5 and Blackmagic Pocket 4K 6K, you will not have to bother in post-production about this process. If you have a camera just like my Sony A6400, Sony A7 III, you will have to de-squeeze your footage in post-production. This is a really simple and easy tutorial made for Premiere Pro users, and after that, a little thing in Filmic Pro if you are using anamorphic lenses on your smartphone. So, let's start first with the Premiere Pro tutorial, and after that, we'll go to the Filmic Pro. Let's get into Premiere Pro. Open Premiere Pro. Import your anamorphic files to your holder container. Once you imported the files, you can understand that the image looks squeezed in. Right click on one of your files or actually on all your files that you imported. Go to Modify and Interpret Footage. Under the pixel aspect ratio, conform it to the dedicated anamorphic disqueeze. Match your disqueezed ratio from your lens. We are using an 1.33 anamorphic, so select 1.33. And that's it, your footage will be disqueezed for your edit and export. That's it, simple as it is. And let's go for the bonus tip if you are using Filmic Pro for your smartphone. If you are using smartphone anamorphic lenses just like the Moment Anamorphic, Sear Anamorphic and other brands, you will have to do the same thing if you are just using your standard smartphone camera app. I showed you the process. If you are going for the Filmic Pro app, you have a smart solution that will disqueeze your footage in camera you will be able to de-squeeze the footage internally. Most of the anamorphic lenses like the Moment, Siri, Moondog, Ulanzi and other cheap knockoffs are 1.33 anamorphic. Under the setting panel in Filmic Pro, just turn on the Moondog anamorphic 2.41 aspect ratio and you will be ready to go. That's it, another simple way if you are shooting anamorphic on your smartphone. And stay tuned guys, cause I'm getting also the Siri anamorphic for smartphones and I will be reviewing it and testing out. Until my next time, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video, and comment section down below if you have any questions. See you in my next one!